Fourth grade, module one, lesson seven, homework. Number one, round to the nearest thousand. Use the number line to model your thinking. So we have 5,900, and when you have an equal sign that's like this, like two little squiggly equal sign, that means is about. So that means that we're rounding. And we're rounding to the nearest thousand. So what I'm going to put on my number line here, right here I'm going to put a low number, and here I'm going to put a higher number, and here goes a number that's right in between. So if we're working with 5,900, I'm going to start with my low number of 5,000, and since we're rounding to the nearest thousand, on top I'm going to put 6,000. And the middle point, right between 5,000 and 6,000, is 5,000. 500. Now I need to place 5,900 on the line. So we need to decide on here where does 5,900 go. Well, 5,900 would go about right here. So then when we're looking at our number line, and we can see that 5,900 would round up to 6,000 because it's very close to 6,000, much closer than it is to 5,000. So this rounds to about 6,000. For B, we have 4,180 is about equal to. So I'm going to put 4,000 down here and then 5,000 up here. In the middle, we would have 4,500. And then 4,180, I need to plot that somewhere here on my line. So it 4,180 would be about right there, which means we're going to round down to 4,000. C, we have 32,879. I'm going to put 32,000 here and 33,000 up here. And the middle is 32,500. And let's plot 32,879. So now all we really need to look at is this 879 piece. So where am I going to put that between um, here and 100? So this is 500, so it's going to be more than 500. 879 is pretty close to 1,000. So it's going to go maybe right about there. So we are rounding up to 33,000. 78,600. I'm going to put 78,000 and 79,000. Right in the middle would be 78,500. Now 78,600 is going to be slightly above that 78,500. And if we're judging, is it closer to 79,000 or is it closer to 78,000? We're rounding up to 79,000. E, 251,031. So 251,000 and 252,000. This would be 251,500 right in the middle. And 251,031, this is just barely bigger than 251,000. So it really would go, not even where my first mark is. I'm going to put it really close, 251,031. So we're going to round down to 251,000. And 699,900, so I'll have 699,000. If I add 1,000 to that, I'll end up with 700,000. Right in the middle would be 699,500. And 699,900 is going to be up here, which means we will be rounding up to 700,000. Number two, Stephen put together 981 pieces of a puzzle. About how many pieces did he put together? Round to the nearest thousand. Use what you know about place value to explain your answer. 
So it wants us to know, it wants us to round to the nearest thousand. So kind of like what we were doing, or exactly like what we were doing up below or up top. So I'm going to just make my own number line here. And we have 981 pieces rounding to the nearest thousand. So 981 isn't even a thousand yet. So our number line is going to go between zero and 1,000. So if we're rounding to the nearest thousand, where it's either going to round down to zero or round up to 981. Right in the middle would be 500. And 981 is going to fall really close to 1,000. So we will be rounding up to 1,000. So let's say 981 is about 1,000 because of our what we showed on our place value chart. We could say, I think it wants us to explain. Use what we know. We need to explain. So we rounded using a number line. 981 is closer to 1,000 than zero, so we round it up to 1,000. Number three, Louise's family went on vacation to Disney World. Their vacation cost $5,990. Sophia's family went on vacation to Niagara Falls. Their vacation cost $4,720. Both families budgeted about $5,000 for their vacation. Whose family stayed closer to the budget? Round to the nearest thousand. Use what you know about place value to explain your answer. So they both budgeted $5,000. And let's start with Louise's family. Louise's family they went to Disney World and it cost $5,900. I'm going to draw a number line. But this time, since we're working, we have 4,000, 5,000, 5,000. I'm going to make my low end 4,000. Then I'm going to have 5,000 and 6,000. And I'll go ahead and put 5,500 in here and 4,500 in here. So we're rounding to these thousands and let's find out where Louise's family fell. So Louise was 5,990. Let's place that on the chart. So 5,990 is greater than 5,000. So I'm going to go up from there. It's greater than 5,500. It's actually 5,990 is very close to 6,000. So Louise, their family spent about $6,000. Now, Sophia's family went on vacation. And they actually spent less. They spent $4,720. So $4,720 is greater than $4,000. It's greater than $4,500, but it's less than $5,000. So it's about right in the middle there. $4,720. So if we round that to the nearest thousand, that would be closer to $5,000 than $4,000. So they spent about $5,000 on their vacation. Whose family stayed closer to the budget? Well, that would be Sophia's family stayed closer to the budget. To the budget because they spent about $5,000 and Louise's family is 
spent about six thousand dollars Number four, Marsha's brother wanted to help with the first question on his homework. The question asked the students to round 128,902 to the nearest thousand and then explain the answer. Marsha's brother thought that the answer was 128,000. Was his answer correct? How do you know? Use pictures, numbers, or words to explain. So they asked them to round 128,902 to the nearest thousand. So let's just do that. So at the bottom, we'd have 128,000. If we were rounding to the nearest thousand, we rounded up, it'd be 129,000. In the middle, we'd have 128,500. Now, 128,902, let's place that. So 128,902, is it greater than or less than 128,500? Well, 902 is greater than 500. It's actually almost up here to 1,000. So we would end up rounding up to 129,000. So we would say Marsha's brother was incorrect. He should have rounded up to 129,000. And your picture can be part of your actual explanation of showing how do you know.